Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I'm going to start our class for today. So I hope all of you in a very good condition. So regarding this MCO, so although we are in a very restrict, uh, very constrained uh, distance and time, so I hope that we can manage to have our class uh, properly. So all of you can hear me, eh? So uh, please respond if I ask anything. So don't. Uh, so you may. Turn on your microphone, okay, along the class. So if you have anything that you're going to ask, okay, or you may chat, uh, you may ask any question in our uh, conversation, okay. So I hope all of you can hear me. So please respond. Okay, sir, can hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Can, sir. Make this uh, online class. Uh, lively okay so don't be so uh quiet and make sure you ask any question or you respond anything okay uh okay so uh what we are going to do the first thing is uh, i would like to explain okay what we are going to do for today so today i will explain uh what are the things that we going to do in this every single online class maybe not every week we will have our online class Okay, anything that uh, I think this is uh, important for me to deliver to all of you, so I will deliver uh, during the online class. So, kalau yang tak, uh, tak ada, uh, macam uh, ada minggu yang I will not have an online class, so I will uh, make a video for you so that you can download the video. Uh, daripada YouTube channel saya and then you may have a look especially on the example so uh, normally on the online class I will uh, explain on a very important detail about uh, assessment about uh, uh, every single starting of the element that we are going to design okay much like for today we are going to start on designing a slab so that's why I'm going to have an online class so that I will explain how to design the slab. Okay, after I'll show to you or I share to you every single information regarding the important thing of uh, information about reinforced concrete slab design, then the example I will give a video uh, to you uh, and then you may download and study it offline and then you may ask any question in the WhatsApp group as usual. Okay, understand eh? Okay. Okay. So, uh, here. Okay. So, uh, I would like to show you something. So, here is our class CS. Uh, so, I will share my screen so that you can see my screen what I'm going to share with you. Okay. Wait. Eh. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, so all of you, I hope that you can see my screen. So what are you seeing? Nampak desktop saya tak? Nampak. Nampak, sir. Nampak, sir. Okay. Nampak, sir. Okay. Muka suara semua bangun tidur kan? <laughs> okay. Uh, Semua sehat eh? Sehat Alhamdulillah. Sehat Alhamdulillah sir. Sehat sir. Okay. So this is our uh, team uh, group. Okay. So in our team group here, every information okay regarding this subject will be posted here. Okay. So uh, here is our uh, today class. So every single comment or any civil uh, every single conversation okay regarding our class will be recorded here and also have a conversation here so kalau you ada apa-apa soalan contohnya this is for example okay what has what has been uh, we chat today lah you boleh nampak semua kita punya chat tadi kan okay so everything is recorded here so if you miss up the thing miss out the thing so you may refer back to this uh, google teams okay uh, microsoft teams and then you may recheck back Okay, in the same time, okay, I will record the video and then I will upload the video 
uh, in our in my YouTube channel. In the same time, you may also download this video here after we finish up our class. Okay. Uh, nanti saya akan tunjuk macam mana cara nak download the video. Okay, ke you guys dah tahu dah? Tak tahu, sir. Okay. Tak tahu, tahu, sir. Tak tahu, sir. Okay, so this is our uh, general front page of our uh, class, okay, uh, in a Microsoft team. Here is our file, okay, every single note semua, lesson plan, uh, Uh, and every single note semua saya dah upload dekat sini. Okay. So contohnya this is a for BIM example. Okay. It's already here. Okay. If any additional in, uh, note saya akan upload dekat sini. You will get the notification. Okay. And then. Uh, okay. So macam for today class. Okay. Slap. So I do already upload the, the notes here. So uh, you may download it from here. Or if you will. Uh, and then you may save it lah. Okay. So, uh, for example, if I would like to teach uh, on the introduction for slab, so I just click this, this, and then I can either start conversation as in you may ask the question here. Okay. So later, eh? okay. This is our class notebook. Our class notebook is actually a personal notebook of your own. Okay. So maksudnya setiap seorang akan ada class notebook. So contoh dia. Okay, so if you have uh, your own task, okay, yang kena buat, okay, you terus boleh buat dekat sini. Okay, contohnya ini adalah your homework. Okay, so I'll give a question to you, for example, okay, regarding the slab design, for example, you boleh type dekat sini. Okay, you terus boleh buat dekat sini. Ataupun you may buat uh, offline and then you copy and paste dekat sini so that I can see and then I will give a comment and return to you guys lah. Okay, and then you will get the response and uh, you will get the comment from me. Okay. Okay, regarding the assignment, later we will have assignment and then every single uh, information regarding the grade and so on is here. Okay, nanti saya akan bagi tahu tentang what are we planning for our MCO, uh, our this semester class. So regarding the assessment and so on. Because the assessment is already changed. Because we don't have a final exam. So I will explain it later. Okay. Each of you is required also to fill up this attendance. Okay. You buka dekat sini. Uh, each of you have to com uh, complete this attendance along the class. Sekali sahaja isilah. Okay. You just fill up your student ID number. Okay. Class mana. And then uh, jawab di soalan lah. Okay. Okay. Jawab di soalan. Okay, uh, I, kalau boleh, kalau boleh saya nak kamu jawab after uh, end of the class. Okay, because I would like to know uh, regarding this knowledge or our lesson outcome, okay, for this subject, what you, uh, what have you obtained from this class lah. And then give some comment regarding this class. So, because uh, actually this information okay, regarding our end of the class, okay, so I will give a tutorial question here, okay, so this tutorial question nanti kamu wajib untuk buat lah and then you boleh upload dekat sini, okay, so uh, this is offline lah, nanti lepas habis uh, our class, so I will let you do your uh, tutorial question, so I will give time for you uh, until end of this, uh, bila bila you free, you submit lah, hopefully jangan terlalu lewat lah, so I'll, I'll give you Uh, at least sampai Jumaat ke sampai Sabtu or this weekend. So, or this weekend, you have a free time, you don't have a class, you do your tutorial and then you submit it. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So, before we, uh, I do explain on uh, anything else. So, any question? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, so we start uh, on our class today. It's still again on our new lesson plan. Okay, this is our new lesson plan. So if you have any question regarding our lesson plan, you may. Okay, you may ask here. Okay, dekat tepi ni you boleh type saja dan saya boleh jawab. Okay.
Okay. Uh, so, this is our new assessment. Okay. So, the evaluation is already different. Okay. You have a look. You, you should have a look here and be careful. Okay. So, uh, we will have only a test. Okay. Only one test as usual, but we don't have a final exam. And it is an online open book test. Means that we will give a time. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, a, a test okay for you to do and then after you white offline and then you have to upload uh, in your uh, in a nanti dalam dalam any any apa any medium yang saya akan share lah so for example in our class so i will do it in our google classroom ataupun dalam our microsoft team nanti you have to upload over there okay so uh, we will have a quiz online which is 10 percent okay Quiz online, you uh, we will give a certain time for you to answer this quiz. Okay, so because of uh, we 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 should have an four maximum assessment. Okay, so that's why uh, uh, we decided we will have a quiz, which will cover all chapters. Okay, uh, normally quiz is uh, not really into a very tough calculation lah because if it is regarding a design, it take a long time. Maybe. General, uh, general uh, on introduction for every single chapter. Okay, so kalau for calculation pun maybe very simple calculation. Okay, and then assignment we have a two assignment. Okay, assignment one. Okay, task task one, and then assignment task two. Task one is uh, uh make sure uh you have your own notes uh beside you so you may jot, jot down any any information that I deliver to you. Okay, so uh, task one will cover a slab, beam, and also torsion. Okay, task two I can cover for uh, column. Okay, torsion saya tak masuk lagi, nanti saya akan masuk kemudian. Okay, saya masuk slab dahulu. Okay, so uh, ini information yang sama. Okay, so uh, we will have almost uh, 22 weeks. Okay, so for today class, uh, this we already done until uh, beam design here okay supposed to be we already done our slab but uh, we cannot go for that okay uh, so today we will have our own slab design okay and then by uh, today we will start on our slab design and then next week i will pass the task okay so i will explain to you uh, uh, nanti pasal task macam mana satu group berapa orang dan sebagainya so all those information uh, and then preparation of the question for uh, assignment is in progress so we will decide uh, in a few days okay and then ada cuti labor day siapa yang kena satu hari bulan lima ni kelas mana uh, yang kena satu hari bulan lima ni hari apa kena kelas kita tak tak ada kan hari jumaat so uh, tak ada kena kelas kita lah okay and then tujuh hari bulan lima, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. So, ni ada kerja kelas kita ni. Okay, for the torsion beam design. Okay. Ta, uh, so, saya tak akan buat uh, online class lah because it is a waste day, kita akan cuti. Okay. So, <coughs> for this torsion design for beam, maybe I will share a video to you, okay, dalam YouTube dan uh, you just uh, self-learning lah. Okay. And then... Uh, 11 hari bulan 5 replacement holiday for nuzul Quran. Okay, so 11, uh, 15 hari bulan 5 you have to submit your uh, first task. Okay. And then uh, column design ada special break juga dekat sini. Okay, special break for raya. Betul eh? Uh, special break for raya. Okay, saya tak boleh balik raya ni. Macam mana korang boleh balik raya dah? Korang dekat rumah semasing beraya dah. Okay. <laughs> Elak lah. Okay. Then we will have a quiz. Okay, tengok eh. Our quiz here is online open book topic all important design concepts, slab, beam and also column. Okay. And then task two. Okay. And then we will have our test. Okay, here. Uh, our planning is on 6th of July uh, 2020, 9am. Uh, pukul 9 pagi, jangan tak bangun eh. Okay. <laughs> Online open books. Okay, so if let's say, okay, ada revision on the test. Okay, uh, I will inform you later. Okay, so because of 
we have to check with any subject Because korang kat semester ni ada berapa subjek semua Takut ada yang bertindi apa semua kan So we have to make sure that uh, the test time will not be redundant with other subjects Okay So I hope that you can clearly uh, understand Okay uh, My explanation Okay so uh, Any question regarding our lesson plan So if not I will proceed on our lecture for today class Any questions sir? Uh, no sir Any questions sir? Okay thank you Tak sir Okay, so we will continue on a reinforced concrete slab. So uh, if you can download, you download it uh, in your computer. Okay, so if you can uh, tak payah download dulu pun tak apa. So you just listen to me and then you just write down the important, important information that I deliver to you in our class today. Uh, so that you will understand what is a reinforced concrete slab design. Okay, at the end of this lesson, you should understand the concept and types of reinforced concrete slab and then design reinforced concrete slab in accordance to Eurocode 2, perform all the checking required for the slab and draw the slab detailing in accordance to the current curtailment rules. Okay, so as an introduction to the slab, okay, what is slab? Okay, slab kalau bahasa Melayu dia, bahasa dia pelik sikit lah, papak concrete. So which mean that uh, you basically you know what is your, uh, what is a slab kan? Eh? Okay, slab is a structural element with a small overall depth of a thickness H as a compared to its width B and also span is L. So you should know, okay, identify, okay, uh, the uh, configuration of this slab. So this is the length, this is the width. Uh, so depend lah. And then this is the height. Okay. And then a solid slab can be considered as a rectangular section and square section. So when you would like to design your slab, you have to make sure that your slab is in a rectangular shape or in a square shape. Uh, jangan sampai uh, your slab in a L shape, okay, in a T shape, uh, in a in any shape but uh, it will have it will give a problem okay uh, to all of you so uh, if uh, especially when we would like to arrange our reinforcement okay nanti dia akan ada torsion dan sebagainya okay so, the bending behavior of the slab is, is similar to the beam. Okay, dia sama macam beam. So, means that when we apply load, okay, on top of this slab, okay, and then dia punya bending behavior dia sama. Okay, this is your bending moment. Okay, this is your maximum moment. Okay, so you have to remember, eh, okay, when we would like to analyze, uh, saya dah pernah ajar on a load transfer before this on the beam. Okay, so, on the load transfer uh, on the beam, okay, uh, basically, we transfer from slab to the beam. Okay, so kita transfer from slab to the beam. So, uh, all those load, okay, is sitting mostly, okay, uh, on the slab. Okay, contoh dia, okay, our furniture, our, we ourselves, okay, as a viable action, kita duduk atas slab, kita berdiri atas slab, machinery, semua atas slab, dan sebagainya. Okay, so you should identify every single element that is contribute a load on top of the slab. Okay, generally, the design of a slab is divided into two types, which is one-way slab and also two-way slab. So, how to determine either the slab is a one-way or two-way slab? Okay, so for example here, okay, one-way slab is uh, we calculate the ratio between LY over LX is more than 2 or less than 2. Okay, kalau if more than 2, it is a one-way slab. It's less than 2, is a uh, two-way slab. Okay, 
Ly is longest span, and x is the shortest span. So this is a longer span, this is your shortest span. Okay. Okay, this is a type of our slab yang kita ada, okay. So contoh, ini adalah waffle slab. So sebab kita tengok bentuk dia dekat bawah ni macam waffle. Okay. This is a solid slab. Mostly yang kita ada adalah solid slab lah. So if it's inside the building, normally it is a solid slab. Biasanya, okay. Uh, macam your house now. Okay, uh, semua bangunan. Okay, kita tengok biasanya adalah solid slab. Okay, rib sl uh, ini adalah flat slab. Okay, flat slab ni biasanya uh, dekat uh, roof. Okay, your flat slab here is normally at a roof. Okay, biasanya kalau bumbung kalau kamu pergi dekat uh, contohnya Aeon. Okay, ada parking rooftop right? Okay, yeah. parking rooftop tu biasanya is uh, sebagai roof lah. Okay, that roof kita consider as a flat slab. Okay, ataupun flat roof. Okay, and then this is a rib slab. Okay, uh, rib slab ni uh, kita tengok dia punya bentuk dia adalah macam uh, dia dia ada eye beam sikit macam ni. Okay, ni adalah rib slab. Okay. Okay, design specification. Okay, every single uh, element that we're going to start the design, we have to know the design specification. Apa information or design parameter that we need to know and how we're going to determine this value. Okay, so as an engineer, it is important for you to really uh, tahu macam mana nak tentukan okay, uh, design parameter of each element. Okay, contohnya, you nak tentukan Uh, grade of concrete that you're going to use, okay, thickness of the slab, thickness of the size of the beam, okay, diameter of the bar. So you should uh, understand how to determine this design specification. So by determining this design specification, it'll help you to start and make sure that your design is not, uh, apa tak salah lah. Okay, so the first one is the design specification on the FCK. So, if you have a look on your FCK here, okay, kita tengok eh. So, kita boleh refer this table lah. Okay, mana-mana table pun kamu boleh refer. So, it's depend on the, normally macam I ask my friend, okay, uh, and based on my experience during uh, I'm working as an engineer outside. So, each company have their own design specification on concrete grade of the concrete, uh, of the structure. Okay, kadang-kadang, okay. Uh, sometimes uh, we would like to have uh, a very uh, high grade of concrete. Uh, although, for example, slab we can use grade 20. Okay, maksudnya 20 MPA. Kita boleh pakai 25 MPA, 30 MPA. But some company, it, they already have their own standard or their own uh, assumption that they would like to use grade 35 for all the elements. So it's depend on how we going to decide our characteristic strength of concrete as an engineer based on uh, usage of the building or usage of the structure and then based on uh, need of the client juga. So kalau client tu dia nak high end punya uh, apa high end punya product so means that we can give a high quality of uh, concrete and then bagilah grade yang tinggi sikit supaya uh, dia tahan lebih lama dan uh, dia in term of dia punya strength akan lebih lah. Okay, bila bila kita increase, dia akan ada, bila kita gunakan grade concrete yang yang tinggi, harga akan lebih mahal. And then FYK as, as usual, we use 500 Newton per millimeter square. Okay, also depending juga kalau dekat Malaysia, uh, nowadays uh, they still use a, uh, apa, Uh, 460. So tak ada masalah. Tengok apa yang ada dalam market dan tengok on the current situation what we are apply in a practical. Okay. Uh, maksudnya in a real situation of a design. Okay. Next design specification criteria adalah unit weight of concrete. Biasanya kita guna 25. Ini yang selalu kamu salah. Uh, apa kegunaan this unit weight of concrete? Saya nak tanya. Tolong jawab. Siapa-siapa? Unit weight of concrete ni, 25 kN per meter cube ni. Untuk, Untuk cari safe weight, sir. Okay. So, jangan salah, eh. 
Ah, So ada yang self-weight guna ni. Karakteristik strength of concrete. Dia confuse. Contohnya saya bagi C30 dekat situ. Ataupun 30 Newton per millimeter square. Dia kalikan 30 tu kalikan dengan slab thickness. Ah, salah lah. Okay. And then design lifespan pun bergantung kepada uh, ni macam ni adalah refer kepada uh, National Annex, okay, Malaysian Standard, uh, Eurocode 1990 uh, 2010 class A11, fill of the application, okay, kita boleh tengok, okay, untuk 10 years, 10 to 30 years, 15 to 25 years, 50 years and also 120 years, tengok. So biasanya kita guna Kalau untuk rumah, bangunan, apa biasanya kita guna uh, 50 years lah. Okay. Building structure and other common structure not listed elsewhere in this in this table. Okay. Kalau temporary structure cukuplah untuk 10 tahun. Okay. Kalau macam uh, bridge, okay. Yang mega structure, okay. Boleh guna untuk 120 tahun which is S5. Okay. And then design specification ini adalah untuk fire resistant. Okay, ini contoh eh. Ini contoh yang saya tengok daripada Sarawak Law. Okay, so uh, dia bergantung kepada types of building. Okay, nanti kamu boleh tengok sendiri dekat kamu punya nota. Okay, you boleh download dan you boleh tengok lah. Okay, contoh dia kalau macam ni. House having four story. Okay, saya try besarkan sikit. Okay, contoh dia. House housing four story. Fire resistant dia untuk basement adalah satu jam. Okay, ground story or upper story satu uh, follow daripada satu B lah. Okay, biasanya satu jam. Okay, macam ni ada ni satu jam. House having any numbers of story satu jam. Okay, ini satu setengah jam. Okay, building or part having not more than two story. Ada residential. Okay, ini kalau institutional ni macam university dan sebagainya lah. Okay, this is ada capacity detail dan sebagainya macam ni. Very detail, okay. So, uh, you may follow the standard. Contohnya kalau you buat bangunan ni dekat Sarawak, you have to follow the local authority daripada Sarawak lah. Maksudnya daripada uh, majlis, Perband uh, majlis Bandaraya Kuching. So, macam dekat Penang, we have a few majlis bandaraya lah. Okay, so macam kita, kita boleh follow. Uh, kalau dekat kita, dekat MPSP, dekat sini kita boleh follow MBSP. Okay, kalau dekat Penang, Pulau, kita boleh follow MBPP punya requirement. Oh, another another thing is you boleh follow dengan Uniform Building by Law. So, any uh, design actually for the building, we have to follow the law. Okay, law, uh, kita boleh refer uh, Uniform Building by Law. Uh, you tak belajar lagi semester ni Semester tujuh kot Nanti korang akan belajar law Okay in civil engineering So dekat situ semua dia akan ajar So how we have to follow Okay contohnya to determine the fire resistant Okay untuk fire escape Okay uh, fire resistant door Dan sebagainya Okay Okay ini adalah design specification untuk fire resistant Continue Okay ini adalah untuk diameter bar Okay Bar size directly refers to diameter of steel bar. Steel bar are used in civil uh, structure to act as a supporting agent like column, beam, slab and foundation. The reinforced concrete element resists the load from the joint action of steel bar and concrete. Therefore, strength of reinforced concrete uh, structure depends upon the size of the steel bar. The maximum diameter of bar used in the slab should not exceed 1 over 8 of the total thickness slab. Okay, contohnya kalau uh, kamu punya slab ini 125, so 1 over 8 uh, time with 125 is the maximum size of the diameter bar lah. Okay, so ini adalah the diameter bar of generally used in slab. Okay, jangan terlalu besar for slab. Okay, normally, okay, uh, if the information is not given, okay, dalam uh, soalan ataupun dalam design, okay, you may assume your slab thickness, okay. Kalau dalam British Standard, we can use 6, okay, tapi dalam Eurocode, the minimum, okay, bar, diameter bar is 8mm. So, if the value is not given, okay, for the diameter bar, okay, you may use 8mm, 
or not or else okay or else okay normally kita akan guna 10 mm okay dalam dalam kelas saya saya galakkan kamu untuk guna this value 10 mm okay ini adalah minimum diameter bar allow by euro code tu okay but basically biasanya uh, when we would like to design our reinforcement for slab kita akan guna 10 mm okay kita provide pun 10 mm. Okay, so you take note on this eh. Jangan provide 8 mm. Okay, untuk secondary bar boleh. Untuk primary bar, okay. Untuk main bar, provide 10 mm. Okay. Okay. So, design specification on exposure class. Okay. So, saya rasa saya dah explain on the exposure class before this masa our class uh, masa BIM. Okay. So, uh, exposure class is identify the project based on the uh, project Uh, location from the architecture plan title block. So dekat title block ni kamu boleh tengok okay, uh, our location of the project. Macam this one is uh, dekat bandar Sungai Lalang daerah Kuala Muda Sungai Petani Kedah Darul Aman. Okay and then we check the environmental condition geographical, weather condition, altitude of the location, ketinggian dia daripada aras laut, uh, kelajuan angin dan sebagainya dekat kawasan tu. Because it will reflect our loading, it will reflect our exposure condition uh, and it will reflect our nominal cover. And then, kita refer dekat table 4.1, okay, to determine the exposure class related to the environmental condition in according to uh, EN 206-1. Yang inilah table ni eh, kita dah tengok dah sebelum ni kan. So, kita tengok lah, based on that area, contohnya dekat kawasan bandar Sungai Lalang, daerah Kuala Muda. So bila Kuala Muda ni kita tahu dekat dengan apa? Ha? Kuala Muda ni dekat dengan apa? Laut se. Laut. So kalau kita tengok this exposure class, so what is the suitable uh, exposure class yang kita boleh pilih? Okay. Ha. So kita boleh tengok dekat sini. Concrete inside building with low air humidity, concrete permanently submerged in water. Concrete surface subject to long term water contact. Concrete inside building with moderate or high humidity. Kita tengok yang lain. Okay, ha, ni. Structure new to new to or on the coast. Ha, coast. Eh, coastal. Coast. Okay. So, kita boleh pilih at S1. Okay, exposed to airborne salt but not in direct contact with sea water. Okay, so tengok berapa jarak dia daripada laut pula. Kalau dah, dah jarak sampai 10 km daripada laut tu tak perlu lah. Kalau macam memang 500 meter, 1 km is possible for us to use XS1 lah. Okay. Okay, and that is a permanent action. Okay, so tengok eh. Dalam permanent action ni, Okay, sebenarnya dalam Eurocode tu semua dia dah dia dah bagi tahu dah. Okay, dia dah bagi tahu dah. What are the elements that will contribute to the permanent action? The self weight of construction work should in the most cases be represented by a single characteristic value and be calculated and the basis of the nominal dimension and the characteristic of value of the density. Ini maksudnya self weight lah. So self weight of the slab, self weight of the column, self weight of the beam dan sebagainya. Or brick wall dan sebagainya. The surface of the construction work include the structure and non-structural element including fixed services as well as the weight of the earth and ballast. So, maksudnya kalau uh, dia reflect kepada macam contohnya kita buat bangunan yang tepi bukit ataupun retaining wall dan sebagainya termasuklah uh, weight on earth ni. Okay. So, non-structural element is a roofing, surfacing and covering, partition lining, handrail, wall cladding, suspended ceiling, thermal insulation, brick furniture, fixed services dan sebagainya. Ini adalah termasuk dalam permanent action semua ni tau. Okay. Sebab dia adalah fix dekat atas uh, kita punya structure. Okay. Kalau macam contohnya uh, suspended ceiling ni uh, dia akan uh, attach to the slab lah. Okay. Uh, dia tak attach to the beam eh. Okay. Bridge furniture. Uh, fixed services pun sama juga. Okay, fixed services is include equipment for lift and moving stairways. 
heating, ventilation and air conditioning equipment, electrical equipment, part without con their content, okay, cable trunking and conduit, itu adalah services. Okay, so selama ni saya bagi contoh dalam kelas, okay, ada shilling and services. Tak tahu services tu apa, tu adalah services, contoh dia. Okay. Okay, ini adalah untuk variable actions. Macam biasa, variable actions kita kena refer dekat, uh, okay, selama ni yang saya bagi adalah kamu refer kepada Euro Code 1, betul? Okay, setiap negara, okay, after after the Euro Code 1, okay, uh, Euro Code, uh, Code of Practice, okay, we have another code that we have to refer because each country have their own national annex, okay, yang mana menggunakan Euro Code standard, okay. So, uh, in in Malaysia, we have our own uh, Malaysia national, national Annex. Okay, you boleh download dah hari tu. Uh, Madam Joanna dah ada share dalam Google Classroom. So, you boleh refer dekat situ. Ada certain-certain things yang berbeza dengan uh, implementation of Eurocode based on uh, our, our country. Sebab uh, that standard is refer to United Kingdom. Okay, punya region. Okay, ada certain-certain things yang kena follow the Malaysian condition. Okay, so you have to follow this one lah. Okay, kalau macam ni contohnya, okay, category A, uh, dia punya QK, dia dah bagi tahu dah. Category A is, uh, kita tengok eh, saya besarkan sikit. Okay, ini penting eh. Okay, contohnya, category A adalah Area for domestic and residential activity. Ini adalah untuk QK. All usage with a self-contained dwelling unit. Okay, kalau dalam kalau dalam uh, Euro Code One, okay, dia dah bagi tahu dia ada range dekat sini. Okay, you refer dekat table ni dia akan ada range between two to three ke kalau tak silap saya. Tapi untuk Malaysia punya condition dia dah tetapkan dah based on table national annex. Tiga ni, imposed load on floor, balconies and stair in the building. So, uh, certain uh, expertise uh, termasuklah salah seorangnya adalah pensyarah daripada FKA kita eh, yang buat uh, national net ni, Prof Azmi daripada Syah Alam. Okay, ex kita punya dekan dulu. Uh, kenal tak? Tak. Uh. Dr. Az, uh, Prof Azmi tak kenal lah, dekan sebelum yang sebelum ni yang besar, badan tinggi tu. Haa. So, Prof Azmi tu dulu, uh, dia adalah uh, salah seorang yang buat National Annex ni. Uh, okay, so macam Malaysia dia guna dua. Dia dah ada specific value dekat sini. Dia tak boleh pilih dah. Okay, kita boleh follow. Tapi, uh, kalau for example it is a special condition uh, of the design, kita boleh pilih lebih, kita nak pilih 2.5 pun tak ada masalah. Okay, uh, macam ni 1.5 uh, kN per meter square. Okay, selama ni saya bagi contoh dalam kelas berapa? 2.5 kan? Okay, sebenarnya kamu boleh follow this one lah. Okay, uh, so kalau macam saya bagi 2.5 tu sepatutnya untuk kategori A5. A5 tu apa? A5 adalah balcony. Uh, sebenarnya kalau untuk bedroom ke apa sebenarnya under A2, A3. Okay, 2 boleh 1.5 sahaja. Okay, tak tinggi pun. So you boleh refer dekat sini lah. Kalau this value is not given in the question, Ataupun dalam tutorial. Tapi kalau dalam final exam, confirm dia akan bagilah. Atau dalam exam dia akan bagilah. It, uh, saya cerita ni on a real situation when you would like to practice the design lah. Okay. Ini adalah untuk variable action untuk roof. Impose load on the garage. Ini adalah untuk garage. Okay. Pun ada dia punya specific. Okay. Kalau untuk gross vehicle, maksudnya kalau macam kamu punya... Uh, garage ataupun kamu punya apa dekat depan rumah tu kita panggil apa? Kapoj. Kapoj. Okay. Kapoj kamu, kamu boleh guna 2.5 kN per meter square. Okay, kalau garage yang untuk macam uh, uh, apa? Uh, aeroplane punya bay. Okay, untuk kenderaan-kenderaan besar, you boleh guna 10 kN per meter square. Okay. Ini adalah untuk roof. Okay. Uh, ini yang kamu kena faham betul-betul eh, untuk roof. Kalau uh, roof slope, okay, maksudnya roof slope ni adalah kecerunan bumbung dia. Okay, kalau kecerunan bumbung dia adalah uh, less than 30 degree, you boleh guna 0.25 okay, kN per meter square untuk roof uh, punya variable action. Okay.
kalau dia punya kecerunan adalah antara 30 ke 60, you boleh guna this formula. Okay. And then, kalau dia more than 60, dia tidak akan ada variable action. Okay, so you have to be consider this one lah. Okay. Identify of the slab type. Okay. So, slab ini dibahagikan kepada dua. Sama macam beam. Ada simply supported and also continuous. So, tolong jangan salah pilih simply supported and also continuous slab. Sebab, because of your senior, okay, this is your senior yang dah ambil IDP, dah lepas subjek RC structure, masih salah memilih simply supported beam dengan continuous beam. Apa beza simply supported beam and also continuous beam? Saya nak tanya korang. Siapa-siapa tolong jawab? Okay, simply supported beam tu apa? Siapa nak jawab? Apa tu simply supported beam? Apa beza simply supported beam dengan continuous beam yang paling simple? Uh, simply supported beam tu yang ada satu span kan? Okay. Continuous? Continuous tu dia ada banyak span. Okay. So if more than one span, dia maksudnya adalah continuous. Kalau dia satu span sahaja, maksudnya dia, dia supported by uh, contohnya sebab beam boleh supported by beam. So kalau contohnya dia supported by Uh, dua 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 support maksudnya dia adalah simply supported kalau dia supported by more than two support maksudnya dia adalah continuous beam okey uh, so jangan salah sama juga dengan simply supported slab and also continuous slab okey maksudnya okey kalau slab tu okey all those four okey slab kan dia empat segi kan okey so kalau semua edge dia adalah di support by Contohnya, okay, ini contohnya ini adalah slab. Okay, ini adalah simply supported slab. Okay, sebab this edge is supported by dua support. Satu support, dua support. Satu support, dua support. Satu support, dua support. So, ada dua support system sahaja. So, ini adalah simply supported. Kalau for example, dia ada more than that, contohnya kat sebelah sini ada lagi satu slab. Okay, so this edge, okay, akan ada satu, dua, tiga support. Maksudnya beam tu adalah continuous. Maksudnya kalau, okay, uh, senang macam ni. Okay, for the simply supported beam, a simply supported slab is supported by simply supported beam. Okay, kalau, okay, beam dia adalah continuous, slab dia juga adalah continuous. Uh, so, faham eh? Boleh eh? Okay, ni adalah how to determine your one way, two way tadi lah. Sama macam formula that I do already show to you before. Okay, ini adalah benda yang sama. Okay, uh, simply supported slab itu apa? Okay, continuous slab itu apa? Okay, dalam continuous slab, okay, simply supported slab saya tak perlu explain lebih sebab dia sama saja. Okay, dia ada one way and also two way. Okay, okay untuk uh, continuous or restrained slab, dia ada one way or two way. Okay. So, one way continuous supported slab here. Okay, ini adalah LY over LL untuk satu panel sahaja. So, only for one panel. It's not for all panel. So, means that your LX here, okay, satu panel sahaja. Okay. Uh, so, means that kalau this is 2.5, ini 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. Okay. So, your LX is 2.5. Okay. Kalau untuk, okay. Uh, continuous slab Okay, we have nine cases here Interior panel You tengok eh, case number one Okay, ini you boleh refer Dekat kamu punya design appendix Ada design appendix tak? Ada Okay, design appendix kamu tengok dekat table uh, Sekejap eh, saya buka Okay, table 3.14 Okay, dekat Uh, it is important for us to know the condition of uh, this uh, continuous slab in order for us to calculate the bending moment and also shear force. Okay. 
Uh, saya nak check dulu ni. Semua ada lagi wujud lagi ke tak ni? Ke, dah keluar dah. Tinggal berapa orang je je lagi. Okay, ada 30 orang. Selamat lagi. Okay. Okay, so kita ada nine, uh, nine cases here. Okay, so contohnya, case number one is the interior panel. Okay, ini adalah interior panel. Okay, tengok all these four edges. Okay, sekejap saya besarkan sikit. Boleh nampak eh? Okay. So untuk interior panel, okay maksudnya empat four edges ni adalah bersambung dengan slab lain. Okay satu, dua, tiga, empat slab. This is adalah interior panel. Case number two, one short edge discontinuous. Ni adalah one short edge LX discontinuous. Case number three adalah one long edge discontinuous. Case number four adalah two adjacent edge discontinuous. Okay, two adjacent maksudnya sisi yang bertentangan, uh, sisi yang per, uh, 90 degrees adalah discontinuous. Two short edge discontinuous adalah case nombor lima. Ini two short edge discontinuous. Case nombor enam adalah two long edge discontinuous. Short edge dia adalah continuous. Case nombor tujuh, three adjacent discontinuous, three edges discontinuous. One long edge continuous. Ni adalah one long edge continuous. Tiga edge lagi adalah discontinuous. Case number eight adalah three edges discontinuous. Three edges discontinuous. One short edge continuous. Case number nine, four edges discontinuous. Okay. Berhati-hati dengan case number nine. Kenapa saya katakan you have to be careful with case number nine? So because of you tengok ni adalah satu panel saja, you ingat adalah simply supported. Why? Case number 9 is considered as a continuous uh, slab. Siapa boleh cerita dekat saya? Siapa boleh jawab? Kenapa? Case number 9 is a simply supported. Eh, uh, continuous. Not a simply supported. Why? Uh, sebab dia still ada beam cuma tak ada slab. Kenapa dengan beam tu? What's wrong with the beam? Sebab yeah, beam tu continuous beam. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because of the beam is? Continuous. Continuous beam. Okay. When the beam is a continuous here, okay, semua beam ni adalah continuous, betul? Okay, hmm. so that's why this slab is considered as a continuous slab. Case number nine, four edges discontinuous. Okay, so faham eh? Okay. Ini adalah preliminary sizing sama macam what we have done for slab. Eh, for apa? Beam. Beam. Okay, uh, so sama juga. Okay, untuk fire res... Uh, cuma kita kena refer untuk fire resistant here. Okay, based on fire resistant, kita kena refer dekat table 5.8 lah. Okay, 5.8 fire resistant. Okay, untuk dia punya untuk L over D kita akan uh, guna table yang inilah without. Okay, table National Annex 5. Uh, okay, ini pun ada Malaysia punya condition. Tapi saya rasa tidak sama, uh, tidak berubah dengan apa yang ada dalam Eurocode sama. Okay, so tengok condition of the slab tu dekat mana. So kalau it is a simply supported slab, so kita guna Uh, yang ini. Okay. Like this stress yang ni. Kalau dia adalah end span, kita akan guna yang ini. Kalau dia adalah interior span, okay. Yang ini. Kalau slab supported on column without beam. Okay. Flat slab contohnya. Uh, so flat slab ni. Okay. Sekejap eh. Uh, okay. Nanti saya akan tunjuk macam mana flat slab tu. Okay. Uh, so before I go You faham tak maksudnya flat slab ni adalah 
uh, slab yang totally supported by column. Uh, sekejap eh. Nampak muka saya tak? Tak nampak kan? Nampak saya kat tepi. Okey. Ah, nampak muka saya kan? Okey, flat slab ni maksud dia okey. Contohnya ini adalah kita punya slab dan dia fully supported. Contohnya ini adalah column. Dia fully supported macam ni. Okey, maksudnya this slab is fully supported by this column. Okey. So kita panggil as a flat slab. Dia tidak supported by beam. Okay. Ha, kalau dia supported by beam dia adalah berbeza. Okay. So tak ada masalah Okay and then Bila kamu nak Tentukan dia punya slab thickness ni Okay so slab thickness Saya dah bagi tahu. okay kita akan start dengan 100 walaupun dekat sini contohnya Minimum for REI 60 adalah 80mm so kita boleh Provide more lah okay Minimum adalah 100 okay 110 125 Okay lepas tu 150 Lepas tu 175 Maximum is 200. Jangan kamu provide 180, 190, 195, 172. Ha, jangan. Okay. So 100. Saya ulang sekali. 110, 125, 150, 175 and also 200. Okay. On the nominal cover. Okay. So nominal cover. Same. Okay. As what we have done before. Except due to the fire resistance. We have to refer to table this one. Okay, table 5.8. Cuma, uh, dekat uh, C minimum dia, okay, C minimum due to the fire resistant here, okay, uh, kamu tak perlu uh, kira alpha SD. Dia terus ambil je value ni. Okay, alpha plus 10. Okay, uh, terus ambil value ni. Uh, so ia akan jadikan C minimum untuk uh, nominal cover. Nanti kita akan tengok dekat dalam dia punya example macam mana. Okey, sebenarnya dalam National Annex dia dah ada uh, bagi suggestion on nominal cover. Okey, ini adalah kalau kita nak kira secara manual. <coughs> Sorry. Okey. Okey, ini adalah contoh. Okey, dalam National Annex kalau kamu Buka nanti National Annex. Dia dah ada based on uh, yang ini based on durability. Okay maksudnya based on exposure class. Okay berapa dia punya nominal cover. Okay dia dah ada buat specific uh, design. Dia dah designkan satu table. Dia dah buat dah simplified kan dalam table ni. Okay contohnya kalau XC1 cukuplah dengan kita ada 15 tambah 10. Deviation dia ada 10. Maksudnya minimum cover dia adalah jadi berapa? 25. Okey faham kan? Okay. Kalau XC2 punya condition at least due to the uh, durability ataupun due to the exposure condition dia punya minimum okay, nominal cover adalah 25 tambah deviation. Deviation adalah 10 kan? So jadinya minimum dia adalah 35. Maksudnya kalau kamu at C2. At C2 kamu provide less than 35 salah lah. Ha, nanti kamu boleh check. Okay. So bila kamu dah kira manual yang atas ni. When you calculate this manually. Okay you boleh refer juga to this table. Contohnya XS1. Okay. 
XS1. Ha, contohnya, dia mesti at least 40 mm. Ha, itu kalau grade uh, C30, uh, 50 to 60. Okay. Kalau grade concrete dia 35, dia lagi tebal sebenarnya. Ha, okay. Ha, kalau dia grade 30, ha, you boleh tengoklah berapa. Okay. Grade 30, you boleh guna this table. Okay. This table. Okay. Kalau dia grade yang ada dekat sini. Okay. So, you boleh tengok. Uh, this table, you boleh terus dapatkan berapa your opinion of the cover kalau you malas nak kira manual. Okay, biasanya because of due to the exposure class ni akan bagi the maximum uh, C minimum lah. Kalau kita compare tiga fire resistance, durability and uh, C minimum B tu, ini akan paling maximum. Okay, ini adalah nominal cover dia. Okay, and then for the action analysis, okay, action analysis, okay, untuk slab. Okay, dia ada permanent action and also variable action. Okay, pertama, what are the element that will contribute to the permanent action? For example, adalah sulfate. Okay, so kita darapkan dengan dia punya thickness. Okay, darapkan dengan dia punya thickness sahaja. And then kita ada shielding, services, finishes. Finishes macam tile, okay, uh, cement render, okay, dan sebagainya lah. Okay, pakai dan sebagainya. Okay, itu adalah semua kita punya permanent action. We total up in kilonewton per meter square. Kalau beam in kilonewton per meter. And then variable action. Okay, so you have to be careful here. Okay, design action N is equal to 1.35 GK plus 1.5 UK kilonewton per meter square. So then you have to write this formula. Design per meter width N time 1 meter W kilonewton per meter. So maksudnya kita akan design slab every single meter. Okay maksudnya setiap 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter. Okay so bukannya uh, for the whole uh, span. Contohnya kalau span dia 5 meter kita akan design for every single meter. So kita akan repeat untuk the next 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter kita akan uh, apply reinforcement yang sama. Okay, here I'm also sharing the shape of the shear force and also bending moment for each of the cases uh, of the uh, slab. Simply supported one-way slab, okay. Simply supported slab two-way, okay. And then simply support uh, continuous slab one-way and also continuous uh, slab untuk two-way, okay. Uh, so, jangan... Uh, tanya, jangan tak tahulah macam mana nak draw dia punya shift force and also bending moment. Saya dah prepare all those notes for you for to refer and understand how to draw the shift force and also bending moment for each cases. Okay, jangan confuse. Kalau ada masalah, tanya. Okay. Nanti uh, further explanation on the shift force and also bending moment, I will explain dalam uh, example. Okay, ini adalah table that we have to refer for two-way continuous. Okay, two-way continuous slab. So, we have to refer the shear force uh, at table 3.15, bending moment at table 3.14. Okay, so dalam example, I will show you how to uh, apa to determine this value. Okay, design may reinforcement. Okay, so uh, design may reinforcement sama sahaja macam uh, rectangular beam. Okay, dia sama saja dengan rectangular beam cuma okay, biasanya okay, uh, for slab they don't have a doubly reinforced. Biasanya dia akan singly reinforced where the K is less than K balance, compression reinforcement is not required. So all those information here, so I already give a note, note uh, here. Okay, kalau untuk two-way slab kita akan ada DX and also DY. This is formula for DX and also DY. Okay, so B is equal to 1000 sebab saya dah explain tadi, we design for every single meter span. Okay, so short span adalah D, we will use dia punya effective depth dia, kita akan guna DX, long span kita akan guna DY. This is specifically for two-way slab. Kalau untuk uh, one-way, kita akan guna DX sahajalah, minimum diameter bar is 10 millimeter. Okay, ini adalah design reinforcement untuk AS minimum dia dan juga AS maksimum. 
Okay. So design reinforcement, I made a summary here. Simply supported one way, design reinforcement at short span only, provide secondary reinforcement at long span. So we will have a look on the example. Simply supported two way slab, design reinforcement at short span, design reinforcement at long span. Means that we have to design at both at X and also LY. Untuk continuous one way slab, we have to design reinforcement due to the short span for each section, support and mid span. Okay, kita kena ada design dua-dua. Contohnya macam ni. Okay. Uh, yang tadi tu untuk mana? Uh, continuous. Design berin. Okay. Continuous untuk one way slab. Okay, yang ini. Okay, yang ini. So, maksudnya kita kena design dekat support. Kita kena design dekat mid span. Sama macam continuous beam hari tu. Okay. Kalau untuk uh, continuous two way slab, design reinforcement at short span, mid span and support. Support if required. Maksudnya kalau ada loading dekat uh, support, so we have we have to design. And then design reinforcement at long span, mid span eh. Sorry, bukan mid span. Mid span and support. Maksud dia, so for example here, okay. I have one, two, three, four. Moment dekat here. Dekat uh, two-way slab here. Okay, untuk uh, two-way slab here. So, means that I will have to design four reinforcement. So, contohnya, if the value for MS at two here is zero, maksudnya dekat sini adalah discontinuous. Bila discontinuous, dia tidak ada moment. Moment equal to zero dekat sini, saya akan ada MS at satu sahaja. So, I will have MSY1, MSY1 dengan MSY2. So, I will have three moment only. So, means that I have to design three uh, reinforcement. Okay. So, ini adalah shear reinforcement. Okay, untuk shear reinforcement, dia tak sama macam beam. Okay, kita cuma kira sampai check sini saja. VED should be bigger than VRDC, shear check is okay. Okay, so kita sampai check BRDC, B min, and then kita compare with the VED, and then we get the conclusion. Okay, kalau VED lebih besar daripada BRDC, kita kena, kita kata okey lah. Kalau kita dapat contohnya less, maksudnya tak okey, we have to change. Okay, we have to change certain parameter. Okay, kita kena check what are the parameter, okay, uh, yang, apa, parameter yang akan menyebabkan uh, VED ni akan jadi lebih besar lah. Okay, and then deflection check is sama buat uh, sama yang kita dah buat sebelum ni. And then ini adalah table yang kita kena refer for value K which is table from the national NX5. Cracking check, okay for slab is different. Okay, so you have to be careful here. Okay, kalau cracking check for slab here, so ini adalah refer daripada national NX ataupun dalam euro code uh, class 9.3.1.1 uh, bracket 3. So, First, we have to check, okay, untuk dia punya H. So, H dia mestilah less than 200. Then, okay. Second, principal reinforcement ataupun main reinforcement, kita kena check dia punya, dia punya spacing adalah 3H less than 400mm. So, maksudnya kalau H kita adalah 100, okay, maksudnya kita punya maximum H kita, ada uh, maximum kita punya spacing adalah berapa? Maksudnya maximum spacing between reinforcement dengan reinforcement. Okay. So kalau kita punya H100. Berapa kita punya maximum spacing kat sini ni? Ni adalah S maximum. Okay S maximum for slab. Dia jadi, dia akan jadi berapa? Sekejap saya besarkan sikit. Okay. Kalau kita punya slab here. Okay 100 mm. So, berapa dia punya S maximum here? Class? 300. 300. Okay, so means that when you would like to provide your reinforcement, okay, dia punya spacing tu mesti paling maximum adalah 300. Okay. Uh, kalau uh, less than that, better lah. And then ini adalah for secondary reinforcement. Kita tengok nanti apa itu uh, principal or main reinforcement, apa itu secondary reinforcement, masa dalam design nanti. Okay. So, untuk secondary reinforcement, dia punya maximum spacing adalah 3.5H. So, kita kena check satu adalah untuk thickness dia. 
Ini adalah spacing untuk main reinforcement. Ini adalah spacing untuk secondary reinforcement. Okay. Ini adalah untuk uh, except in area with concentrated load. Ini adalah untuk uniformly distributed load. Okay. Kalau concentrated load, kita pakai yang ini. Okay, ini adalah reinforcement detailing. Okay, nanti kamu boleh study. This is reinforcement detailing pun saya dah share juga. Okay, untuk uh, two way simply supported and also one way simply supported. Ini adalah untuk one way continuous slab. Okay, ini adalah untuk two way continuous slab. Okay, so uh, any question class? Okay, so our class here is already about one hours and 25 minutes to 28 minutes. So uh, if you have don't have any question, okay. Uh, so I'm going to go for the example. Uh, tapi saya rasa dah satu jam setengah kita punya kelas. So uh, still can continue ataupun uh, saya akan bagi you nak saya bagi video sahaja. How? Video. Okay, saya bagi video sahaja nanti ya. Eh. So, maksudnya, uh, okay, saya dah bagi a full lecture for this one. So, uh, I hope that all of you so can uh, get an introduction regarding, okay, this uh, uh, slab design on introduction. So, for the example, I will give a video to you, okay, later. And then, uh, I hope by this evening ataupun uh, by tomorrow, I will share the video with all of you guys. So, if you have any question, you may ask to me now. Okay, ada apa-apa soalan? Setakat ni tak ada, sir. Okay. So, uh, don't forget, okay, to fill up your attendance here. Okay, so. So, it is compulsory for you to fill up the attendance, okay. So uh, now uh, each of you have to fill up the attendance. So saya uh, close the sharing screen here. Okay, so sekarang ni saya nak kamu fill up the attendance. Saya bagi masa dalam 5 minit to fill up the attendance. 5 minit to 10 minit to fill up the attendance. And then after fill up the attendance, you may... Uh, sekejap eh. Okay. So... Okay, so sambil-sambil tu korang boleh fill up your attendance. Okay, uh, so I think that's it for our class. If you have any question, you may PM me through WhatsApp and other else. So now uh, that's it for our class. Thank you. May uh, you may dismiss from my class. Thank you again. So I hope that all of you in a very good condition. Take care and uh, enjoy. Your Thank, you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.